Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. La muhoye. La muhoye. Shela hoye. Asante ni sana manaweza kukiti chini. Wanainchi wa shela hamjambo. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Asante ni sana sana. Mimi na wenzangu tunafuraha kufika shela siku ya leo. Nilikuwa nimealikwa na mama Zara. Na huyo uh, MC wenu hapa huyo atwa Salim. Tukija lamu tufike shela. Maana mara mingi tumekuja manda tunatua pale kwa kiwanja ndege. Alafu tunachukuliwa na boti tunavuka tunaingia pande ile nyingine lakini hatujafika hapo pande hii. Leo kama ya kwanza tumefika Shela. Sasa kwanza waliambia mimi changamoto kubwa sana hapa Shela ni mambo ya maji. Na mnajua hapa mimi nimefika huko mbele nilipokuwa waziri mkuu. Wakati tulikuwa tunaanzisha hii mradi wa wa, wa Lapset. Tukaketi hapa na viongozi maana kulikuwa na pingamizi mkali sana dhidi ya hiyo mradi wa Rapset mimi nikakaa pale na wao kwa siku nzima tukiongea mpaka wakakubali ati mradi utaleta manufaa hapa Rapset imejengwa lakini bahati mbaya imejengwa kama sisi tulikuwa sasa tuko nje ya serikali kwa hivyo jamaa bado hawajafanya yale ambayo tulikuwa tumepanga mimi niliambia nyinyi hapa lakini tunataka kufanya halamu iwe kama Dubai wa Kenya. Na wakati hii ingekuwa hiyo maneno yangekuwa imeshangifikisha. Tulikuwa tunasema tunajenga reli kutoka hapa Lamu inaenda inapaka huko pale Isiolo inapanda. Tao nyingine moja inatoka pale moja kwa moja mpaka hadi Sababu Ethiopia. Nyingine inatoka pale inapitia huko E, juba inaelekea huko kule bangi mpaka kule dola la Cameroon tunajenga daraja ambayo itaunganisha bahari ya Hindi na bahari ya Atlantic alafu tunajenga kiwanda ya kisasa international airport hapa Lamu alafu tunaleta tourist resort hapa Lamu yale yote yangebadilika sura ya Lamu lakini wale jamaa ambayo wameshika hatamu wakaiba wameingia kule hawajui ndoto yetu Hajui ndoto yetu wao jamaa. Kwa hivyo yao jamaa wamenajisi. Wamenajisi mshana wetu. Lakini bado mambo bado. Hojazana na e. jamaa wenyewe ni hanisi. Ni hanisi hadi kufanya. Hata <laughs> wakini kule maji linatoka. Haina mbegu. Sasa mimi nataka kutoa shukrani sana kwa yangu jana yangu rafiki yangu atua salim huyu atua ninasema amefanya kazi mzuri sana hii inaonyesha ya kwamba yeye mwenyewe ni mtu ambaye anaangalia mbali zaidi hii fikra ya kuleta maji hapa mimi nilitoa maoni na ushauri lakini wao wenyewe ndio wamefanya hii kazi hii kazi mimi nilisema inaweza kufanyika. Inawezekana. Na sasa wameweka nini maji wanachimbwa pale inatoka inapigwa nimeenda pale sijana nimeshandua pale hapa nitatoa maji hapo kwa shule hapa hapa. Maji ni uhai. Na hao jamaa wamefanya kazi mzuri sana tunatoa shukrani kabisa. Asante sana kijana. Asante kijana wangu. Yale ambayo amefanya ni maneno mazuri sana. Hii mradi inataka ilindwe inataka vile vile wafanye njia ya kuweka stima ya kudumu mambo ya kuleta kama solar power ambaye sasa gharama itakuwa iko chini zaidi inataka ifanyike hapa sasa nimesikia vile vile ombi ya shule hapa na poranya ameongea sana juu ya mambo ya CDF na mpanga ambaye tumeko naye wakati huu maana mambo ya Harambe tuliwacha sasa pesa inayowekwa kwenye bajeti moja kwa moja inaitwa National CDF ambayo inapitia kwa mkono ya mbunge wa mbunge ifike hapa chini. Mbunge wenu hapa bwana rafiki yangu bwana Mdama mimi namjua sana. 
Wewe wale wale ambao wametereza kidogo wameingia mgambo ile ngine. Kinatonyorosha warudi nyumbani. Kwa hivyo hii tuhakikisha kwamba hii shule yale ambayo mmeomba majengo yamefanyika vizuri. Majengo yatajengwa sawa sawa hapa. Ili mimi mwenyewe nitakuja ku, kuzindua mpango ya hii ujengo haya. Sasa. Kwa sasa mimi mwenyewe nitatoa hapa laki moja kwa shule hapa. Asante. Alafu wale vikundi ambayo walitutumbuiza hapa. Nilisema zilikuwa vikundi vitano. Kila mmoja atapata 10000. wale alafu wale watoto baba wamefika kwa shule baba kama ukuja watoto mpaka wapate peremende kunya soda kidogo mimi natoa kwa watoto hapa 2020 sasa sawa sasa asante sana sasa Nataka niongee na wale wengine huko ambao wako Nairobi huko. Siku ya leo kumekuwa na taarifa katika gazeti ya Nation. There is today an article in the Nation which is talking about Azimio. That Azimio is actually uh, breaking up. I want to dispel any rumor that's being spread by irresponsible irresponsible media that there is no danger in a meal uh, collapsing any soon in time soon i really want our media to be responsible you don't want media to spread unnecessary and irresponsible propaganda nobody has left azimio azimio has remained intact except a few members of parliament who decided to take a walk but the leadership of azimio is intact there is no dissension There is no disagreement anywhere in Azimio and that's why we actually are taken aback to see a banner headline in a very uh, uh, senior media in the country. We want to say this is irresponsible journalism that must be discarded. We don't want the media to try to spread despondency among the members of Azimio. We have stood very firm. Azimio is on a course of liberation of this country. As a meal, there may be sometimes disagreement of opinion on one issue or the other, but that itself does not mean in any way disintegration. So I want to tell, inform all our members, wherever they are, across the country, as a meal, Iko Imara. As a meal, it is remaining united, and as a meal, we will not break up anytime soon. We are on a course to liberate this country from the tyranny and the responsibility. Second thing is that I have just we read that the 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 nini uh, the, the CJ that is the the chief justice the head of judiciary has gone for a meeting with the president in the state house this in our view is an irresponsible move if there was supposed to be a dialogue this dialogue should be held in a neutral place State House is the head of the executive, is the seat of the executive. That's where the president resides. If there's going to be a dialogue over issues of governance, the case must be should be held in a neutral ground. But this means that the judiciary itself is being compromised by the executive. The judiciary is being held hostage by the executive. And we've seen this before. You saw it happen under the rule of Mr. Moy and we have tried to question the current chief justice not to go to bed with the executive this an unfortunate development and we want to hope that the rest of members of the judiciary are not going to be compromised we want the judges to remain firm and uh, do their work in accordance with the law and the constitution of our country This was a treatment that we wanted to make today. 
Thank you very much. God help Kenya. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante.